All right, now we got the tire, and it's backwards. Yep, that's definitely a chunk. Looks like we're gonna be replacing the tire today. Oh. What the? Just all of a sudden, it just started pouring. Like, it didn't even like start spitting at all. And this right here is why I can't do it on the unit. So we actually have to bar it off the back bead. It's even heavier in the rain. So it looks like we got another Bobcat flat tire. Got a big hole right there. So what I'm gonna do is before I air it up, cause it's out of air off the bead, I'm going to put it on a good plug. Before I air it up, I'm gonna let it dry like maybe for a minute and then I'm gonna air it up and then that should work. Cause the bigger plugs is what's needed because it's a big hole. So now I gotta put a little bit of glue on it. Cause that's what makes it work. Pop it in here. Twist it and pull. So I replaced this tire right here about two days ago and then uh, uh, they apparently they realized that they have a bulge on this one somewhere. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna replace that one and then uh, go on to the next call. This is gonna be a quick one. It's nice. Well, it's not your typical bulge, but you can tell that it's raised up here. It's lower down here, raised up there. Looks like this one might need a little help. Let me tell you a little secret. The only tires that actually torque are all of them. Oh geez, looks like the tire doctor's got a flat tire. Yep, that's a flat tire. Tire guys do in fact get flat tires. You wouldn't think it, but they just repair themselves. It's free service. We'll nail right in the tire. Let's just hope I don't have to repossess those tires. Oh boy. All right, now it's time to load up some 12165s for stock. If only it was that easy. Tire doctor gets off really from work. We're going down to Toronto to see Russell Peters with the tire nurse. Let's go. Oh look, we went to Little Canada and guess what? There's Little Tires.